Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. So, like, like I told y'all in my last video, I'm trying, I'm banging out these hauls for y'all. Like, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting ready for the fall and winter. So, we're going ham with the haulage, y'all. Like I was saying before, I was like really interrupted by someone buzzing my door. I've been doing a lot of shopping and I'm trying to roll out these videos for y'all so y'all can get on this as soon as possible. Of course, you all are seeing this in a different days because I need time to edit this stuff. And Savage, she keeps like interrupting me. Anywho, today's haul is on a none other than my favorite skincare line, which is L'Occitane. So if that's something that interests you, like always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also hit that notification bell, that way you all are notified as to when it is that I upload a video, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So yeah, with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So, I picked up quite a, oh no, I hit my mama. She's staring at me like I'm coming back. Anyway, I picked up quite a few items from the brand. And let me just tell you now, the stuff I'm putting you on to, if you haven't already shopped this brand, it like, it's almost like, I, I'm not even lying to you when I say those that enjoy this product, it's like following a cult, if that makes sense. Like it's, it's almost cult-like because the, my friend's here. All right, back to what I was saying. So the product is that good and it's one of my favorite, like it's from one of my favorite lines and that is the almond line. Now the product that I'm talking about is the almond, what is it, the shower oil. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it. It's like Amande. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it. But this is what it looks like. This is the larger size. I love it that much. I have like another set of what I'm gonna show you in the back because this shower oil leaves the skin feeling so hydrated and not stripped. So I actually, this is gonna sound wasteful and you can judge me all you want, I don't care. But this product, what I do is I'll use like my regular body um, showering product, cleansing products for the body. And then I would go in with this product afterwards just because I know it's going to seal in a lot of moisture when it comes to my skin. So I purchased this, like the large size, the 500 milliliter one, and I always purchase a backup of it. I try not to use this often, and when I do, like in all honesty, it takes me a long time to repurchase it because it is so expensive. So um, when possible, try and get it on discount. And like, I don't really use a lot of this product in general when it comes to my body. So yeah, this together would probably last me maybe six months. The next thing I have purchased from that line, which is actually quite expensive if you ask me, for like a body oil, it is the Amande Almond Oil, Supple Skin Oil, whatever. It's the fucking bomb. Like, I, I really feel as though if, like everything that I'm mentioning to you all, you have to use them in unison just so you get like the full effect of these products. This oil absorbs into the skin like nobody's business and it leaves like a subtle radiance to the skin, but you smell like fucking money. Like you smell rich, like a rich bitch. Do it. It, it changed my life. Like it really changed my life. If I had like the balls to go all out for the summer, I would probably use this 
all the time in the summer. But if it weren't like $50, I would. Like I totally would. Um, one thing I suggest someone like you, like anyone who's looking to hydrate their skin, I would, me personally, go in with this. So I would shower with this product then go in with this one and then seal this in with either a lotion or a body cream. That's what I prefer to do and I'm suggesting for you all so that you get the lasting effect. And this lasts, at least for me, at least 48 hours. So my skin feels nourished for two days straight. All right, so the next product that I want to talk about is the Milk Concentrate by the same brand within the same line. What I can tell you about this product that I absolutely love is again, the fact that the smell is very delicious, just like everything else within the line. However, this is, it's basically a lotion in a jar, but it's a very potent lotion in a jar. And I'm pretty sure that's why they're saying that it's like the concentrate version. That doesn't mean that the fragrance on it is extremely potent, but I'm almost certain that it's the quality of the products that are within it. So I purchased this to go along with everything that I mentioned. Like I said, you shower with this, then go in with the skin supple oil, and then add this on top. Now, if that one, is just a little too flat for you in a sense. What I recommend is the Milk Veil. It's essentially the same thing as this. However, this has a lot more radiance within it because it does have subtle, like little sparkles of like shimmer and glitter found within it. So it's great for the summer. Um, because it's extremely lightweight on the skin. Um, similar to this one. This one also is very lightweight. But this one absorbs, in my opinion, a lot better than this one. I don't know. Maybe it's me. But it absorbs a lot better. Both of them are very lightweight. This one comes in the pump. This one comes in a jar. I don't know how I feel about it coming in the jar seeing as, you know, Anyone that visits like my bathroom or something and tries to sneak a little sample of it might have like little dirt particles on their hands and it can contaminate my jar. So I don't know how I feel about that, but I do like that this comes with a pump. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention both of those products are extremely hydrating. They absorb in the skin quickly but they have a long lasting hydrate, hydration factor or component to them, which makes it a lot more appealing when purchasing these items because they are costly. But you do want to, like you want to be mindful of the fact that you don't have to overdo it when it comes to using them. Now, if those items are just too lightweight for you, one of the items I grab again from the same line is the body balm. This is my first time using this. So the other products I've tried before, love them. The body balm, this like, when I say this is like the perfect product for your winter skincare, I'm, I'm like, I'm understating that because it's just that good. So this, okay, hold on, wait, let me pop it off. Like it's literally a bomb. It's thick in consistency. It has the same exact fragrance as the other ones, but it's like wet in a sense. Hold on, let me, let's see, there you go. All right, you all can see it just a little better. It's like wet, but like it still absorbs into the skin and it has like a slight little sheen to it. So it leaves the skin looking beautiful and radiant. So if you're looking for something a lot thicker than this, I recommend this. They also have a, um, what is it called? Like a exfoliant in the line too. 
I don't know about buying the exfoliant. Like it does work. It's freaking amazing. But I don't know about spending that much for an exfoliant. That's just me. Um, I did have like a little sample of it and I loved it. So I, y'all, I, I think I might end up buying that exfoliant. Yeah, I think I might buy it because like this stuff is just too good to pass up. So the next item I picked up again from the same line, the almond line, is the Delicious Hands Hand Cream. And anyone that's tried their creams know that they're really, really good for those of you with extremely dry, cracky skin. Um, I know a lot of people with eczema would love to use their products because they definitely hydrate and leave the skin feeling so moisturized and I don't know, it has like this, it ends up feeling, how do I explain it? Like, like your skin feels so much more infused with collagen after using these products. Like they don't feel aged at all. Like, like you've been uh, washing your hands with rocks. But yeah, so this compared to a lot of their other creams, it is a lot thinner and I'm guessing it's because of the fact that it's, I'm almost certain that the whole purpose of this line is to be lightweight. I don't know, I may be wrong, but everything that I love from the line is lightweight. Like it doesn't feel heavy on the skin, but it still nourishes the skin. So yeah, I grabbed one of these. I wish they had it in like the bigger tooth. Like that's my only gripe. With this item it doesn't come in the bigger tubes so yeah that's that product the next few items i picked up from the line well from the company is not from the almond line at all they're actually just things i wanted because you know during the winter most people switch body lotions so one thing I thought is, all right, well, if you switch body lotions, no, not that I thought, I read it and then I thought it made sense. If you switch body lotions, then you should also switch the moisturizers that you're using. And so with that being said, I picked up some facial products and the first one is the L'Occitane Cream, the Com Ultra Rich Comforting Cream. And this is for the face it has 25 percent shea in it which means that it's very very thick so those of you that suffer from eczema on the face or just dry patches on your face you might want to consider using this um all right it's sealed right now but this stuff is like thick it's like cutting butter thick and it nourishes the skin it absorbs nicely it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin but it's also great for those of you that have sensitive skin but it's sensitive and dry skin the smell on these are like very very light they're not overpowered with overpowered by fragrance so if that's something you're interested in when it comes to your face and just hydrating the skin on your face, especially if you live in the northern areas where the, the snow and the weather is just treacherous, you want to consider this for your face care. Additionally, I picked up the L'Occitane Aqua Ultra Thirst Quenching Gel. Now, I wanted something that was extremely lightweight when it comes to my hydration gels. And as you all know, I use other products when it comes to that. However, I wanted to try something from this brand, seeing as I know what their products do for my skin during the winter and what they do for my skin just in general. So I wanted something that was lightweight and not as thick as a cream but still moisturized my skin. So I decided to go with this and substitute of uh, any hyaluronic acids that I decide to use for my face. And yeah, I thought this was just absolutely cute. However, like it looks 
Okay, there we go. I'm like, it looks like I was missing a lot. So it got stuck in the jar. But this is like just super cute. Like, look at that little baby jar. I mean, you pay a pretty penny for it, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be worth it. I've tried this product before and initially I didn't think that it was working for me. So for those of you that don't know, I rarely get ashy or feel dry on my body. Like I barely feel that way. If anything, the driest part on me is like my lips. Like they just get super dry. But I don't know. I don't know if it's because like I'm aging differently. Granted, you age every day. But I just feel as though I've I've been feeling more dry, especially in my hand areas. So I decided to purchase the ultra rich body cream and i plan on using this on days in which i don't know i just i want something that penetrates the skin and stays on there when it comes to using other products with it so like in essence like my body oils but i want something that just leaves my body feeling nourished so i don't have to use the products over and over again and a little bit of this goes a long way so you get a lot for what you're paying for when it comes to quality products it's what 200 milliliters of products or 6.9 ounces and it works like it's very very thick and like rich in consistency like it's very rich and potent in products and yeah it's again good for those of you that have dry eczema prone skin. I already mentioned that my hands are getting like just so dry and cracky and then with me doing a lot when it comes to my hands. So like hair, they just dry out. I went in and this is my first time trying this product. I, I tried a sample of it and it was fucking bomb. I, I don't know, like I plan on using this a lot more <laughs> than this product because it's a lot thicker and richer and just more nourishing and that is the intensive hand balm very dry skin 25 percent shea and with this one you actually get a lot compared to this like let me show you all so this is what this one looks like it's like the size of my hand whereas this one and i think that one is what five dollars more so with this one you get 75 milliliters and with this one you're getting 150 so two times as much obviously like you can look at that and see a difference you're getting two times as much and this just leaves your hands feeling like like silk I also plan on using this on my face occasionally because sometimes I do end up drying out depending on what products I use to wash my face. So I, I want something that's going to seal in as much moisture as possible after I've done like my skincare regimen. I want to use this and to go with it, I purchased another magic key. I don't know where my other one's gone. But what you do with this is put it in the inside, put your product in the inside of it. And then as you're using the product, you will roll it up so that you get all of the product out of this. Like, and I'm pretty sure this is like, this is like a nice quality, quality either plastic or metal. Yeah, it's metal. So you roll it up in there, you get as much product out and yeah, you're not wasting money. All right guys, so that just about sums up that video. As you probably already know, like I'm definitely all for that almond line. However, there are like some little pieces that I love from other areas. One fragrance that I don't know, like I'm hoping it goes on sale like Black Friday, God willing, is the, what is the name of the fragrance? Oh my gosh, y'all, I want it so bad. It's the um, 
I, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it because it's in French. And you know the French, like, they're just really, really good with saying this stuff. But it's the ter Terre de Lumiere. Anyway, that fragrance, I'm going to purchase it. I'm just waiting for um, to see how it's going to look discounted during Black Friday. Anyway, like I said, that is it for this video. I will see you all next time again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And yeah, until next time, guys.